Hi guys. You see today's topic? Oh, we're going to push some triggers. <laughs> hello, hello. I'm waiting for people to show up. Today we are going to talk about why you have to stop healing your body. So this is what I see on Facebook. And this is kind of what has prompted today's video. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people really getting ill, right? And um, colds, flus, aches, pains, all kinds of stuff going on. And we go on Facebook and we don't feel good. And either you're asking for healing, you're asking for Reiki, you're asking for whatever. Whatever energy it is that you're asking for to help heal your body. Or you're just going on Facebook and um, people are offering you healing. So I saw one that says, I'm stopping everything that I'm doing and I'm sending you Reiki now. Hi, Christina. Um, and that made me think of, of two things, actually. Number one, you're in discomfort, right? And number two, you're not listening. You're ignoring. You're resisting. So here's the thing about body pain. And why we're saying, you know, don't be in such a hurry to shove energy at it. Don't be in such a hurry to throw energy at it. Um, so when your body goes into discomfort, discord, or pain, instead of immediately throwing energy at it, what it's doing, it is doing two things. Number one, it is projecting to you where you are in resistance in your spiritual growth and evolution. Okay, it's trying to talk to you and what you're, it's like a baby and it's trying to get your attention and it's trying to talk to you, but all you keep doing is turning around and shoving a bottle in its face and trying to make it shut up. And that does one of two things, you know, it'll shut up for a little while, but that doesn't mean that you dealt with any of the things that were underlying that was causing the pain to begin with. All you're doing is putting a Band-Aid over it. So the second piece is the body has a contract with us as souls who are riding in the body to tell us where we're kind of headed off track in the form of physical discord. It reflects that to us. Hi, Suzanne. It reflects that to us in the sense of pain because once you hit pain, that means you weren't listening all along, right? It's been trying to talk to you for a long time, but once it hits pain, that's it. It's having a tantrum. It's trying to get your attention. It's like, yo, you know, I'm getting your attention now. Does it hurt yet? Is it hurt yet? Because I can make it worse. And that's exactly what your body is doing. And for you as a soul essence, Throwing energy at it doesn't dissolve or resolve anything because it's asking you to look at that piece. It's asking you to focus, go inward. Let's talk. Let's have a conversation about where you are and what you're doing. Let's tune in to that area of the body and see what it's trying to say. Because here's the deal. You won't have to throw energy at it. It's about really identifying with and connecting with your body as your partner, as your co-creator in this life, instead of looking at looking at it as something that is ad, um, like adversity, right? Looking at something that is, is causing you discomfort or is um, bothering you or it's in your way and it's not allowing you to do what you want to do. What it's doing, it's, it's asking you, it's like it tapped on your door before and saying, hey, you know what, We're, you're, you're moving a little wrong this way and you're like, no, 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 no. And then it taps on your door a little louder and a little louder until it's in your face. And what we have a tendency to do because we are energy workers, right, is we want to work around the energy of it, right? And so what you're doing is you're taking that energy and instead of working it on you, which is the person who actually caused the problem for your body in the first place with your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs and created discord that got stuck in your energy and then now moves stuck into your body, instead of working that energy, what we end up doing is throwing more energy at the body and trying to heal the body. So here's the thing about the body. 
the body knows how to heal itself. It doesn't need your help. It already knows how to do it. And it does it really, really well. Um, and it can recover and restore itself when the energy around it is palpable, cordant, not discordant, but um, loving, supportive, when it's being heard, when it feels like it's working with you, not against you, where it feels as if it doesn't have to scream at the top of its lungs in order to get your attention. Okay, by the time you feel discord in your physical form, that should be your wake up call. That should be one of those things you go, whoa, okay, I missed something big here. I missed it. So where am I in resistance to this energy that is now causing me discord? Where am I in resistance or where am I holding a belief, a thought or a feeling that's now lodged in my physical form that's causing me to stress. So just to give you, they're showing me a couple of things. So just to, to give you an idea, liver energy is about anger. Kidney energy is about being pissed, right? Um, if you look up, I think it's How to Heal Your Life by Louise Hay, she'll give you areas in which specific thoughts, feelings, and beliefs that you align with create discord. Um, in, uh, stomach, <laughs> they're just giving examples. Stomach is a lack of um, digesting new ideas or digesting information. If you have difficulties digesting information, your stomach becomes upset. So your your body is trying to tell you this is what's going on. But the the piece really that is important is is to stop throwing energy at your body and making it shut up. It's asking you to listen. And as you're, you are the, the soul riding in the vehicle of your form, which is the body, and you're, to, you're here together, you can't function without a body and your body can't function without you. So you might as well make her or him a team player and use it as a resource instead of viewing it as an enemy that constantly gets in your way. Because if you have that relationship with your body and you can co-create, you will be able to pick up things faster, move out of illness way faster. And then you'll be able to really understand where you're, you're doing all this stuff in the mind at a quicker rate, which helps you then um, spiritually grow and evolve at a faster rate as well. Um, so the body knows how to heal itself. It's trying to talk to you. You're not listening and you're throwing energy at it. So instead of trying to heal your body when uh, illness comes up, you wanna start looking at yourself. Where is the energy and the vibrations that I'm creating that is causing my body to say, whoa, and she's trying to call me up and say, yo, this isn't working, you're doing this, where am I not seeing that? What is that energy about? And when you're able to shift those pieces, you will find that the body has no reason to reflect that back to you anymore because you would have resolved it and the pain will then start to go away. So before you think about, you know, slamming energy on all of your aches and pains, take a minute, take a few seconds, meditate, go in and find out where you are creating, not looking, not addressing, in resistance, um, all the things that are going around you that is um, creating discord in your body um, and try and work from that angle first.